right, folks, this is Arlene once again. I want to show you the temperature coming out of my vent at, in my kitchen that's hooked up to the solar heater outside. I put a much heavier fan on it. I've actually used a, a dust collector fan to push it out. Um, it's about a thousand, uh, uh, a thousand CFMs or, um, per minute. And um, uh, this is what I have now. It's 121 degrees coming out of the pipe. It's pretty hot. I can barely put my hands on it. Um, so this is coming out of the vent that I have hooked up. I disconnected from my main furnace and um, it goes up and down. It's around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a bright sunny day. It wasn't that way this morning. Um, it's about 73 degrees all throughout my house now and um, yesterday it was um, about 74 degrees uh, by the time evening showed up and it ended up being oh somewhere around Oh, um, uh, somewhere around, I guess, 67 when I came home at midnight, and then it was about 63 degrees this morning when I woke up without any extra heat. So it's working great for the fall. Um, the nights are getting down to about 45, 42 at night, and about uh, 55 during the day. Okay, well, this is what I just wanted to show you today. All right, and give you a little bit of an update. Uh, this fan versus the other fan, this one's running 10 times faster, and I really thought I was going to lose the heat, but so far that is not the case. So it's, it's kicking off a lot more heat. In fact, the other day, it was closer to like 58, almost 60 degrees out, and I got this house up to almost 78 degrees, the whole entire house. I have about 1,000 square footage on the top here. There it goes. It's 21.1. Uh, you can see it's moving back and forth. Okay, up and down. Okay, we'll see you later. Thanks a lot for joining me here in the Carver's Wood Shop. This is just an update on the solar uh, furnace that I built uh, outside. Okay, bye-bye.